Hi guys and welcome back to Fit With T. Maybe you're new to athletics and you've been hearing about the power of 10 and you're like, what is that all about? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna let you know what it's all about, where you can find it, so let's get into it. So, the Power 10 was established in 2006 by UK Athletics to raise the standard. So, raising the standard is what it's been established to do. So, it's basically the official ranking system in the UK. So, if you want to find any results, any accurate statistics about an athlete, about competition, about records, then the Power 10 is the place to go. You go to www.thepower10.info and there you will find the website. So when you come onto the website, you can look at rankings for each individual age group and event in that age group. You can look up specific athletes, you can look up coaches, registered coaches, you can look up competition, you can see the all-time ranking list. So there's a lot of things that you can actually do on the Power of 10. So the term the Power of 10 itself, what are we actually talking about here? When you go onto the Power of 10 website and you go to a ranking for any of the events, what you'll see is like a yellow line that has a target. So the target is essentially, the idea is to try and get at least 10 athletes in that category above that power of 10. It's about trying to raise the standard of athletes who are achieving a certain target. Then we've also got the 100 target as well, where you're trying to get, the target is to get at least 100 athletes above that target for each event as well. So you've got the target of 10 and the target of 100. And so with that, it's a trying to raise the standard. And there has been a rise in standards for a lot of events in athletics over the years since the power of 10 has been established. You know, you find athletes to compete, you go online to see where my rank is, by having the power of 10 as well, if you are a young athlete coming through the rank, you can start to see your progress in this year. Was I above the yellow line? Was I there as an under 17? Was I there again as an under 20? So it's a case of continuing to progress and not only being there as a youth, as a young athlete, but also trying to push forward as you move into the senior rank as well. And you can also find fixtures, which is a great tool to have. So I like to utilize the Power of 10 a lot to look up fixtures for the year, to find competitions that are going on, to look up results of competitions as well. But it's a really great tool to actually use. So if you haven't gone onto the Power of 10 website, I encourage you to check it out. And you know, if you are an athlete yourself, if you're a parent of an athlete, or you are a coach, it's good to keep your profile updated. You can update your profile. If there's anything incorrect there, you can actually create an account and actually update it yourself as well. There's also awards for those who do manage to get above that power of 10 line. And so it's a great incentive and it's a great motivator to help athletes individually and collectively and as clubs to continue to push forward and to progress. So I hope that's been helpful for you. I hope that you understand a bit more what the Power of 10 is all about. How often do you check? Tell the truth. How often do you check the Power of 10? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, guys, give it a big thumbs up to help me accelerate my channel. And if you enjoy the content I'm making here on my channel, please check out my Patreon, where you can support me for a small amount monthly, which has allowed me to keep creating content like this. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe now and make sure you hit that bell. And I will see you guys next Friday.